Hey you guys, what is up? It's your girl Chanel. We're chilling here in this quirky old bedroom of mine. There is a stupid amount of construction happening nearby, like, like cement truck status. I thought about walking by the site and being like, can we wrap this up? And then I felt like that was, there's a hair on my arm. I felt like that was kind of rude of me. So um, I am so sorry, but it is fucking loud. It's like jackhammer. But I'm thinking I can cover it up and I'm thinking I cannot wait any longer to watch today's film, which is Dazed and Confused. I'm heading over to the IMDb now. Okay, so it's released in 93, um, but it is about teens in what, 76? It is written and directed by Richard, Richard, Richard Linklater, Linklater, Linklater. Um, I, he tends to be, his movies tend to be really long. Um, I know this was like Matthew McConaughey's like breakout. Is this his all right, all right, all right moment? I listened to McConaughey on a podcast recently. He talked about finding this character, which I think is pretty cool. And I feel like it's an awesome film to watch right on the tails of American Graffiti. It's just like kids chilling out in the 70s. So I'm actually really excited to watch today's movie, which is Days and Confused from 1993. It's on the last day of school, May 1976, which love a one day flick, baby. So yeah, I think that I really, really do just want to like hit play. Like I'm ready to just get into this. So yeah. Without further ado, let's get right into today's watch, which is Dazed and Confused from 1993. Smoking on school property. Love it. Love. Last day of school, May 20th, 1976. Lucky them. Early. It's an early out. Ooh. That's night. Love oh, Puka uh, Shell. Look, I'll probably get, you know, hung up with the guys, maybe, you know. She's later. from Big Daddy. Why don't we just, you know, meet at the party? When she talks about Scuba Steve to a little sp Sprouse twin in bed, right, guys? Um, I'll be there, man. Later, <laughs> alligator. I also forgot to mention that I think that 70s show is my favorite sitcom of all time. So to play in the 70s right now, I'm, I'm pretty psyched. I'm very excited. Man. Long take. They were in the doorway that whole time, coming out of the doorway. And oh, lands on the island, yeah. do you remember that? <laughs> Sexy right. oh. The mosquitoes. What are they making a list of? I'm so interested in that. What was that? They're really doing this. Yeah. You want them all back by the end of the day, too. Can you believe that one? And everybody's signing it? Thank. I mean, you sign it, you never think about it again. Just let it go. You're gonna make a big gum around the base of that to get a good hit. You make a bong. <laughs> In shop class, I'm dead. Duh. I love this. The last day of school is so like this. It's so boring in kind of the best way possible. We're go to the bathroom. It's like hot, guys... sweaty. Problem that they had to resort to neo McCarthyism. <laughs> neo McCarthyism. Mccarthyism. I like that. Oh, that's a good time. I want to write that one down. Neo McCarthyism. Yeah, you guys were in class trying to live against Island episodes without even a hint of irony. That's what they were doing. When the hell are you talking about? They were about, listing girl? Gilligan's Island episodes. We weren't thinking about it. It's what's called a male pornographic fantasy. Think about With it. With no sense of irony. You're basically alone on a deserted uh -uh. island with two readily available women. He's a dead man. He's fing dead. Shotgun! Shotgun. Remember that? Check Shotgun. Out, boys, huh? Okay, all you freshmen, listen up. It's your lucky day. After school today, you only get one lick from each of us. But you run like cowards. Well, it's open season. All kids summer. are great. The the kids are amazing. I'm pitching. I kind of have to. How should we inscribe your tombstone? <laughs> How about Ben over? <laughs> yeah, right, piss ant. Why aren't they after anybody else? Ben over. They are. So tell me, any girls gonna be ready to play some football this fall, huh? You. Girls gonna be ready to play some football. Yeah, yeah that's good. Yeah. You throw it, puka shells. Let's go get naked right now. When you're being inundated with all this American bicentennial Fourth of July brouhaha, just slave owning aristocratic white males didn't want to pay their taxes. Yeah. Ah. Good teacher. I'm trying to get a look at the license plates. Are we in California? Such a cool sequence. Wow. I love it. 
just coordinating all these kids just rushing out of the building. Like, what a feeling, right? The best feeling in the world. I feel their relief. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's on the phone. Wake up, bitch. Wake up. It's like hazing or something. Yes. Hey, you. Come here. Maybe he's you. purposely concealing the location because oh, yeah. he wants it to be any, any town. Very much kind of how like on that 70s show, Kenosha is like, it's just any town suburbia. Oh God, come on, hurry up. Texas, should I see? Did I see Texas? I could have looked that up beforehand and I didn't. You're welcome. Okay. <laughs> All right, grab a pole then, kid. Let's get going. I don't think so, creep. Mom. Carl, get in the house. Get in the house. Two things. Mom, and, and is you. that? Get the hell off my property. Ben. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, ma'am. I was what? just uh, squirting your fine young out and I. Oh, and uh, Mitch. And dead. You hear me? You're Whoa. Hey! That was horrible, you little slut. So, why did they participate in this? So you can have a senior friend next year? Break it. the cycle, senior girls, break it. That. Are we gonna get a song? Can we be friends? You spit or swallow. <laughs> this is high school. This is high school. Now fry like bacon, you little freshman piggies! Fry! Fry! Great initiation, ladies. I will see you next year. Straight A's. Both of you? <laughs> yeah. I can't get over the fact that all of these clues are back. The all oh, of them. Kev with you, huh? This looks like no, he teens today. Oh, oh, he is. Oh. Gen Z. Thanks. My friends. Oh, He's up there. Do you want to come? Yeah? Yeah, that'd be fine. Cool, you think it'll be all right? Yeah, it'd be fine. Okay, great. Well, then we'll pick you up at about 8.30. Okay, okay. Wow, so after they're like, they humiliate them, they befriend them. Okay. Sure. They got the incense going. Shit. <laughs> That's a lot. Wow, this is so universal, man. This feels like high school. <sighs> I mean, minus the hazing ritual, but this really feels like high school for me. Nice and tight. American graffiti visual, right? Hey Mitch, could you do the rest of us a favor and leave through the gate in right field? Matt'll draw them all out of here. I mean, they're gonna get you anyway. They're using him as bait. Dead. 13 starters coming by. 22 Letterman. Looking tough. I didn't put it past Link later for one second to not get, to not get, sorry for the double negative, to not get the best actors that he could find. These people are so real. They are so their characters, and you don't feel like they're putting anything on, and you don't feel like they're performing for the camera. They all feel like themselves. No! Does that make you feel good, Ben Affleck? You should sign my paddle later. I gotta get seconds with him. Um, let me tell you something, I took it easy on you, all right? Oh my God, Ben is scary. Like, I feel like he means it. Like, I feel like he's not just acting. Like, I feel like this is him. Uh, yeah, I gotta go home and change. I'll catch up with you, okay? All right, all right, man, see you later. Hey, kid, take care of that butt. I love Puka Shells, he's mine. He's my fave. Wow, down to the crickets and the soundtrack, man. This is like... Summer, baby. After about 10 licks, your ass gets so numb, you might as well get it over with. Oh, it's like the circle of life. It's like, we have to do this. It's for your own good. Right? It, uh, it'd be a pretty cool move to show up and let him know it doesn't bother you that much. Yeah, okay. Cool. See you later? Yeah, sure. Thanks for the ride, man. What a freaking great actor. Who is this? Why am I not recognizing him? Jeez. Is this about to be Lowrider? 
George Lopez, anyone? Hey man, he's gone. You know Wooderson? Oh. How's it going, man? Hey. Finally. Uh. McConaughey. Wow. All, right, all the all context right, around right. the McConaughey character in this is pretty cool. I'm like bummed out this party isn't happening. Like I want to see this party. Cool. This is definitely inspired by American Graffiti. Like 100%. Can't wait to get to college. Yeah, when I get to college, all I'm going to do is bang, 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 <laughs> bang, 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 bang. They say man as much as I say like. Man. Hey, you boys leave. You can't come back. Oh, gee. You hear that? If we leave, we can't come back. Oh, no. What should we do? <laughs> that was great. You were getting there. You hear that? He was getting there. I would have stayed if I were him. That was our last junior high party. That's right. We're in the big time now. We're freshmen. Where all the girls will be putting out. Your days of lying around and pulling tongue all night are over. Yeah. Drive-in, diner. Where we began our evening in American Graffiti. Ladies. It's a lot. It's a little, little something to drink for the road, okay. It's right next to the sea monkeys, man. You see that over there? That's white light. You see the shoes on? I sent away for sea monkeys, did you? Where they find her? I don't know. Walking out of the rec center, I think. Hey. Wow, they're all just like, I believe that they're friends. Like these, this is a crew of real friends. Wow. That's some from your mother, man. Yeah, we just banged your mother. Okay, you dickhead. Your mom jokes are, they always hit. It's always a hit. I've seen so long. My man, what is 60s, 70s, 80s. Your mom. You know what you're talking about. So tell me, man, how's this year's crop of freshman chicks look? Is this belt buckle like a literal piece? That's what I love about these high school girls, man. I get older, they stay the same age. <laughs> he said it! He said it! He just hit his belt buckle. I'm over here like, when's enough enough, you guys? When? What's he gonna do? Smash it? So fun. Yeah, full bomb. Think I should? Yeah. That feels dangerous, buddy. No. I don't like property damage. Shh. Okay, I'm really gonna pay for it. I'm just messing around with him, okay? Good. Why am I so on board? I'm like, yeah, get beat up to have... Uh, now they're best of friends. Like, he is friends now. I'm so happy for him. I shouldn't be okay with this. Come on, guys, we gotta get out of here, man. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Oh, oh my God. I see right, gun. Don't Don, get the beer back, man. I paid for the beer, man. My mailbox didn't show. Look me in the eye, punk! I don't know what you're talking about, sir, but I suggest that you... Go. You busted it, didn't you? No, no, no! That's the move. That's what you do. Is affecting the economy. Shit, this is Anthony Rapp. <sighs> also, how did the other car run out of beer when they had a trunk full? Everything we do and everything we've been taught is just to service the future. Yeah, I know. It's like it's all preparation. Yeah. Right, but what are we preparing ourselves for? Profound. Death. Life. And have lots of calcium. It's very important for young mothers to have lots of calcium. There you are. See you tomorrow night. Bye. Smoking that cig. Love that this was made in 93, so we get that like layer of irony. You're 18, right? Oh, yeah. Just graduated. Graduated. Congratulations. I'm thinking of holding on to the job for a while because, like, you know, it's money in my pocket. I hear that. Here's some more money for your pocket. You have a nice, nice night. Good for him. He got it. Oh, uh, yeah. Hey, is that bastard O'Bannon over there? Yes. Do you guys want to get him back? Hell yes. yes. <laughs> this soundtrack, too. Oof. 
one bop after the next. I would like to dedicate this first lick to your mother. What's gonna happen? What? Remember me, you pig? I was like, where's this attack gonna come from? Above, aerial attack. I'm into it. What are you smiling at? Fresh. God, I love a strip mall. I've said I love a convenience store. I love a gas station. I love a diner. My high school movie will have all of the above. All of those. And high school. But like, duh, it will have a high school. All right, all right, all right. Oh, Christ. This is so How you funny. doing? There's a new fiesta in the making as we speak. Fiesta? I will see you there, all right? Bye. She wasn't love supposed to fall friends. for it. She's a cool girl. These are the so this is the social justice car. Cynthia, what are you thinking? Uh. So we're gonna still go? <laughs> yeah, what the hell? I guess. I'm gonna blow your door. Yeah. Another American graffiti drive and talk, right? Wow, I'm so happy to have seen them like this back to back. Yes, I really wanted to go to a party and we're at a party. Um, I feel like I'm at the party. In the Gulf of Mexico. Oh, I have a shotgunning beer story. Why is it called the Moon Tower anyway? Uh, I guess they just decided to put it up out here whenever they were building them. They do this in that 70s. They climb to the top of the water tower. The moon out here every day of the year, you know? Imagine how many people out there right now are f***ing men. <laughs> it's a real high thought. Just going at In that 70s show when they pass the, the blunt and they're always talking about um, a car that runs on water. <laughs> it's such a good show. Hey, Nick. Hey. Hey. How's it going? It ain't just about you, pal. It's about us. You know, me, Donnie, Mel. You be f***ing us over. Does he sign the paper? I'm gonna say no. Good fall. Good job. Away. I wonder if you took a hit every time they take a hit, how f***ed up you'd be. The 70s, oh my god, they obviously suck. Right? <laughs> Come on. Maybe the 80s will be radical. <laughs> this might be my new favorite movie. This is just where they told me it would be. Oh yeah? Yeah. I don't think we need beer anymore. I was waiting for a kiss in this movie. Tote weed, Absolutely, George Tote weed. Are you kidding me, man? He grew fields of that stuff, yeah, man. I do wonder if any of this is improvised from this conversation, the George Washington weed conversation. Freshman, over here, right over now. Here. Come on. Now. <laughs> no. Don't break it up. Wow, this feels so real. I wonder if that was even real beer, maybe. It's definitely bubbly. Aerosmith, three weeks. <laughs> Front row seats, babe. All right, I won't forget. Wow, he picked Cindy. Okay. You can ride with us, man, but you're riding in the back because I got a shot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey. Wow, it's like a play. They are these people. I really do like this for them. I support it. Sex after 12 or any other illegal activity. <laughs> <laughs> my shadow. Later, baby. Found that What's on McConaughey's shirt? Oh, you know you're the third person who's giving me this. I gotta look that up. God. What are you bitching about? Well, look, I mean, all I'm saying is that if I ever start referring to these as the best years of my life, remind me to kill myself. Well, all I'm saying is I just want to look back and say, had as much fun as I could when I was stuck in this place. Played as hard as I could when I was stuck in this place. Wow. Talked as many chicks as I could when I was stuck in this place. It's a moment of realization. Come on, sweetie. What do we do? You got any visine? Got any visine? Man, I can't believe this. Good for this, kid. Good for you, bro. Mitch, right? bunch of hoodlums and sign your commitment to your team. Have you done that yet? 
I'm still thinking about it. No one's paying you to think about it. Just do it, son. Me and my loser friends, you know, we got to go get Aerosmith tickets. Top priority of the summer. Cool. Cool, man. Oh, coach, uh, I forgot. I might play ball. But I will never sign that. Stick it to Damon. <laughs> I hope he gets away with it. I love him. Mm. Uh, hi, Mom. No such luck. Mm, okay, Mitchell. <laughs> this is your one get out of jail free card. So I hope. You Are you drunk? <laughs> Satisfying ending. This is like some Breakfast Club level satis satisfying. Take it easy. They are still going. Cool. That is another all in one night movie for the books. Matthew McConaughey. Oh. I was gonna say that I love an ending like this because it's like everybody's start, you know? They all achieve their dreams. <laughs> it's like um, introducing everybody to the, like, yeah, it's their introductory performances. Like no one was, no one was, this was like a cast of unknowns, right? Is that what I'm trying to say? Yeah, uh, I always get emotional at the end of like Broadway productions because they achieve their dreams. And this is like one of those movies where I'm like, they achieve their dreams. Okay, I do not have a lot of time for the trivia section because I have class and it's gonna get loud. But okay, Dazed and Confused. Guys, I love that. That's probably one of my new favorite films. I will watch that again. That was so much fun. Wow, just it being the start of so many of their careers just guts me. It absolutely guts me. Yeah, I just want to go right into the trivia because yeah, I just loved it. I couldn't, I couldn't have liked that anymore. That was really cool. Ha! Huh. The sleeping shop teacher is the real teacher at the school who still works there. Cool, cool, cool. Oh yeah, the music rights. Reportedly one sixth of the budget was spent acquiring the rights to the 1970s pop hits on the soundtrack. McConaughey's father died early in filming. I did know this. McConaughey talked about it in a podcast recently, and then production shut down and he went back. McConaughey based Wooderson on his older brother. Oh no, Sean Andrews and Jason London did not get along during filming. It's like boy stuff. I love how the women have like the rep of being like bitchy when it's like, you know two male egos in a room are always the problem. Richard Linklater had a break up a fight between them. It changed the ending, which was going to feature Pickford instead of Wooderson. Yeah, I did think it was weird that Wooderson was kind of in the ending when he wasn't really there the whole time. It also explains their almost total lack of dialogue despite sharing several scenes. The word man is said 203 times in this movie. Very cool. All right, all right, all right. Man. The beer drunk by most of the cast, excluding minors, was real. What did I say? Did I not think it was real? Jason Lennon refused to drink on set and was trying to stop smoking. I would not drink. I couldn't perform drunk. There's no way. No way. Huh. The Kiss statues. Um, shortly after this movie's release, Gene Simmons reportedly purchased the two statues for his private collection, later sold them at Butterfeld's Kiss auction in 2000, in the year 2000 for $6,000. Pink's belt buckle is really a pipe. This is evident when he smokes his belt buckle. Remember? I'm like, do you remember guys? Vince Vaughn auditioned for Benny, but was turned down after Linklater decided he and Ben Affleck resembled each other too closely. Kind of agree. All of the wooden paddles were custom designed by the cast members. Cool. Although Wooderson is the creepy graduate who still hangs out, McConaughey was younger than several of the cast members playing teens, including Sasha Jensen, Joel, Joey Lauren Adams, and Parker Posey. Yeah, we always were always signed up for 20-somethings playing teens. Writer, producer, and director Richard Linklater's intent with this movie was to create an, an inverse John Hughes movie. I told you, I was getting some 16... Not 16 candles. I mean, I was. It was like it happened all in one day, like 16 candles. It, um, I was thinking the ending is, is, as, is as satisfying as 
Breakfast Club, for sure. One of Quentin Tarantino's favorite movies. Yeah, this is a great movie. The original wooden paddles from this movie can be seen at the Top Notch Burger restaurant. Should we look up where that is? It's in Texas. Top Notch Burgers, Austin, Texas. Looks like it's still there. Mask required. Linklater originally wanted the Zeppelin song Rock and Roll for the movie playing during the end credits, but he didn't get it. Jimmy Page agreed for Linklater to use the song, but Robert Plant denied him. Yes, what's her face? Um, Joey reminded me of Renee Zellweger. Renee Zellweger auditioned for the larger role as one of the senior girls, but was given an uncredited role of Girl in Blue Truck. So Renee Zellweger was in this. That's so wild. When Wiley Wiggins, Mitch, was cast, he lied about knowing how to play baseball and how to pitch. Writer, producer, director Linklater had to get a double to show him from the back during the pitching scenes. Cool, I'd lie too. Oh, I'm excited. Ron Slater talks about how George Washington grew marijuana on his plantation in Mount Vernon, which is not true. He grew hemp, which is a slightly different plant, and smoking it will not get you high. I thought that might be improv a little, but it was kind of too well thought out, I guess. Calling myself out in the trivia section, hey. The shirt. Wooderson is seen wearing throughout the movie has the Ted Nugent and the Amboy, Duke, Amboy Dukes album Tooth Fang and Claw on it. So it's an album. Okay. Wasn't sure what that was. Oh, the clerk who Mitch buys the six pack from David Blackwell is also an accommodating liquor store clerk in boyhood. Very cool. Top Notch Burger is also featured in Varsity Blues. I would like to watch Varsity Blues on the channel as well. McConaughey's infamous all right, all right, all right was improvised. He got the idea from recording a recording of Jim Morrison saying all right four times in rapid succession. The scene where he flirts with Cynthia was shot on an evening after McConaughey's costume fitting and he was not supposed to be in the scene at all originally. Writer, producer, director Linklater put him in the scene after enthusiastically approving of McConaughey's costume and started reasoning with him if Wooderson would be attracted to someone like Cynthia. McConaughey has a low, gravelly, southern drawl, right? The word was said 59 times throughout this movie. Not as much as man. The Miss Hazing scene was shot at the Old Americana Theater, located at 2200 Hancock Drive, just off Burnett Road in Austin. Cool. I would go visit these locations. That was, oh, so fun. I did want to look at the budget. I think this is super indie. 6.9 million estimated budget. Yeah, I really would like stories of the casting. People hate, some people, someone just wrote, where's the point? This movie has no point. It's not the point of the movie. I love movies with no point. I just, I wanna hear about the casting. They considered so many celebrities for these parts. I just read in the trivia. Other young actors were considered that were considered for roles include Elizabeth Berkley, Mia Sorvino, Claire Danes. Cool, cool, cool. Claire Danes was too young. Renee Zellweger has a non-speaking role in the film. We should try to look for her. But was originally considered for the part of Darla, Darla, Darler, which went to Parker Posey instead. Wiley Wiggins was the big find in Austin, according to Linklater, who described him as a 15-year-old with all the bad habits of a grad student, smoking cigarettes, hanging out at coffee shops, my kind of guy. Cool. The Kevin Pickford character was played by Sean Andrews, is meant to be larger, but due to his behavior with other cast members, Pickford's scenes were cut in favor of McConaughey. Does Linklater like operate on? improv and like rehearsal and stuff. It seems like he just is deciding who gets to be in and out. Or maybe they shot the scenes and he just cut them. I guess that's true. McConaughey was not originally cast in the film. Wooderson was originally small and meant to be cast locally for budget purposes. He was a film student at the University of Texas in Austin and went out drinking with his girlfriend one night. They ended up at the Hyatt Hotel bar. He approached casting director Phillips at the bar. Phillips recalls, the bartender says to him, see that guy down there? That's Don Phillips. He cast Sean Penn in Fast Times. Maybe we should have watched Fast Times first. I wanted to watch the 70s before the 80s, but like that movie was made first. He has Sean Penn in Fast Times and Matthew goes, I'm gonna go down and talk to this guy. Phillips also recalls that Linklater didn't like McConaughey at first because he was too handsome. Much of the Wooderson role was improvised or written on the spot, giving McConaughey more screen time. Cool. So yeah, it seems like Linklater was like, if he wasn't loving you um, or your behavior was problematic, rightfully so, you were kind of given the boot. And um, he went with like a more charming role and put McConaughey in more scenes than originally was intended. That's cool, I'm into that. Wow, the soundtrack is legendary. The casting, legendary. This made me feel like I was in high school and my high school wasn't even like this. That was so much fun. That was so much fun. I love a one night film. I really do see the influences um, on my favorite teen films, especially the John Hughes of the 80s and the super bads and the, like, okay, so this movie was made in 93, so I can see the American Graffiti influence, you know? And then if you take a super bad, I can see the American Graffiti influence on super bad, and then I can see the Dazed and Confused influence on super bad. And it's just like, all these experiences are so universal, high school. So you've seen my reaction to Dazed and Confused, you heard what I had to say, you've listened to the trivia section, so maybe down below, let me know if you want any 
know anything that I don't. And um, yeah, let's just talk Days and Confused. Who is your favorite? Team Mitch. Team Mitch all the way. And um, on that note, I am gonna go eat dinner.